Noor Sharli is from Syria. He crossed the Mediterranean and came to Germany. His family sent him here two years ago. They hope they'll be able to join him. Tens of thousands of refugees who've come to Germany are minors. Most are waiting for their families to arrive, but authorities are making things difficult. Will Noor Sharli's hopes of being reunited ever come true? Noor lives in a residential facility for young people in Paderborn, in north-central Germany. His family are still in the Syrian city of Homs. He stays in contact with them by phone. <laughs> Noor misses his mother most of all. His father disappeared two years ago. Noor's mother sent him to Germany instead of his 16-year-old brother because it was less expensive. Traffickers charged 3,000 euros for Noor. They would have charged 6,000 for his brother. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine too. Sweetheart, can you hear me? Yes, I can. If we get there, will we live in a refugee shelter or in a proper home? First in a shelter, then we'll look for an apartment or something. We really hope that we can join you. No one in Noor's family thought that the process would take so long. How can a child live for so long without his mother? But the wheels of German bureaucracy turn slowly. Noor has only just been officially listed as a refugee after 18 months of waiting. This facility usually doesn't house people under the age of 16. But there was no room for Noor anywhere else. He was 12 when he arrived. Now he's 14. <laughs> Ula Tila works at the facility and is helping Noor with all the paperwork he has to wade through. No, we talked to the attorney, Mrs. Lampe, and she said that now you're officially listed as a refugee, you can apply for permission to have your family join you. Right, she said that only my mom could come, and then my mom has to... What happens next? What do you mean? After my mom comes to Germany. Okay, first we have to wait until she's officially listed as a refugee. Then she can apply to have her other three children join her. But she'll have to leave them behind for the time being and find someone to look after them in Syria. Mrs. Lampe also said that your mother will have to grant her power of attorney so that she can make the application on your mother's behalf. That's this document here. It says power of attorney. She has to sign this. So we have to find a way to get it to her in Syria. I don't think the regular mail is a good idea. Mrs. Lampe suggested that you take a picture of the document and send it to your mom via WhatsApp. We've got to make sure that she can print it. Then she can sign it, take a picture of it and send it back with WhatsApp. And then we can print it here.
When did you last talk to your mom? Yeah, yesterday. What did you talk about? Did she have anything that she'd like you to take care of? Yes, she said I've got to help my family come to Germany. But we told her when we and a translator talked to her a while back that there's nothing you can do in this process. I can't do anything either. Well, she thinks that I can. She thinks it'll be quicker because I'm a kid. Some of the guys I left with from Homs also came to Europe. And now their families have joined them. My mom thinks that I don't want her to come here because this whole thing is taking so long. Noor uses his smartphone to stay in touch with his family in Syria and with his new friends in Germany. He paid for it with some of the money he gets from the German government, a refugee stipend of 80 euros a month. Early the next morning, Noor heads off to school, which is located in the suburbs. He walks 10 minutes to the nearest bus stop. It's bitterly cold this morning. It's a comprehensive school. The refugee children are taught on two different levels. In small separate groups, and also in regular classes with the rest of the students. How do you like this school? Use some adjectives to describe your feelings. School is good. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's hard. I think math is easy, but the German courses are quite hard. I don't have much trouble with German. I think it's really hard. Hard? You're eighth grade, right? Right. In Syria, I finished the sixth grade, but not the seventh. Okay. Good. In Homs, classes were interrupted frequently by the civil war. Noor fell behind in some subjects, but he's catching up fast now. I think he's doing fine. He gets along well with the other students. He speaks German especially well for the amount of time he's been here, so that's a credit to him. We'll see how it goes from here. But he's so smart that I think he'll be able to graduate with the German students. There's a residential community near the school, the Vincennes house. Noor likes to meet his pals here after school. Most of them are refugees, like him. But there are also some Germans here. Noor's friend Kevin wasn't getting along with his parents, so he came here. Kevin sees his family on weekends. How are you getting along without your parents? Not so good, I'm bored stiff. Do you think about your parents a lot? I think about what it'll be like when they get here, when we're all together again. 
Hey, that's so nice. Yeah. Mm. That'll be great. Is just your mother coming or the whole family? Everyone. Noor doesn't mention that only his mother will come to Germany at first. Let's hope everything goes okay. Ula Tila plans to send the power of attorney document to the lawyer who's handling the case. It could take months for the German immigration authorities to process it. The clerk at the immigration office and the attorney both said that it would go more quickly if Noor's mother and the rest of the family just packed up and left for Europe, without official permission. But that trip would be expensive and probably dangerous too. Noor and his advisor have done all they can. They'll just have to wait and see what happens next. At the end of the day, Noor looks forward to one of the highlights of his week. <laughs> Playing soccer with the other students helps him take his mind off the fact that his family is still in Syria. It will probably be some time before they can join him here in Germany.